Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today we are halfway through our 10 multi-part series about the 10 biggest myths and lies about weight loss. And today's myth number five is about how eating fat makes you fat. Now in the 1980s, everyone was completely against eating fat because they thought that eating it would quickly get turned into or stored as body fat. So that started the high carbohydrate, uh, you know, the fat free dieting craze, which as history has shown, just didn't work. Now, one reason people think that eating fat makes you fat is because every gram of fat you eat has nine calories, while the same one gram of protein and carbs has only four calories, and that's more than half the calories. So fats are very dense. So fat calories are just very dense and thus the real problem is that you end up eating more calories. Not that the actual fat you eat turns into body fat. Now, a second reason that people think that eating fat makes you fat is because it's usually combined with high carbohydrate foods. You know, usually it's junk or processed foods. And the truth is, it's that, you know, these are usually the best tasting foods, such as pastries and pizzas and French fries and, you know, ice cream and pretty much anything that's fried. However, the truth is that eating healthy fats actually increases your metabolism and burns fat because fats improve your hormones. And as you've heard me say over and over again, the way you look and feel, including your body fat levels, right, is determined by your genes, which is controlled by your hormones. For example, eating coconut oil increases your thyroid production and also helps increase your testosterone levels, both improving fat loss. MCT oil, medium chain triglycerides, gives you energy like carbohydrates and have a very hard time even being converted to body fat. So they're very good for you. Macadamia nut oil and extra virgin olive oil both help boost your metabolism. What you want to stay away from are hydrogenated and trans fats, which are typically found in pastries and junk and processed foods. You also want to avoid the so-called healthy fats, such as the vegetable and seed oils like soybean and canola and sunflower and corn and cottonseed oil because these are high in omega-6 fats and linoleic acid, which causes inflammation and thus the slowing of your metabolism. But I'll be honest with you, the, the hardest part about all of this is what to eat and not to eat is it's very difficult to eat like this all the time because these, you know, unhealthy fats are pretty much found in anything that tastes good, especially in the foods that you eat, you know, when you go out, out to dinner, or, you know, or, or at parties and family events and the holidays and so forth. So in these situations, I suggest you, you know, quote unquote, cheat a little bit and go ahead and enjoy yourself, but just make sure you take a fat and carbohydrate blocker. Now, these what I call miracle fibers and fats actually block these unhealthy fats and sugars that are in these, you know, yummy foods. So it doesn't get converted to, to, to fat. So I take these blockers whenever I know I'm going to, you know, not be able to eat healthy as I normally do, like typically when I eat out. So it's basically really amazing because I still and you get to enjoy some of these favorite foods without feeling guilty or worrying about getting fatter. Um, and you can learn more about these natural fat and carb blockers by clicking the link below in the description area and watching the next video. Well, that's it for today. Just remember that you need to eat some of these essential healthy fats every day in order to produce more youthful hormones, which will keep you younger and leaner. And if you do want to end up eating some of these unhealthy fats and carbs, you know, when you eat out, no problem. Just make sure you take some natural blockers, which you can get all the details below in the bonus video. Just click the link in the description area below and get all the details. Also, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss the next video, which will be about weight loss myth number six, that being overweight has to do with willpower. And this is a very important topic because most people incorrectly blame themselves when they quote unquote fail in reaching their weight loss goals and think that maybe they're weak and it's their fault, which is not true. Anyway, if you found this uh, video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also do me a favor and please leave your questions and comments below. And as always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.